Um, today we have this Holy Communion service, and the sermon title is The Most Challenging Mission Field. Uh, what is it related with the Holy Communion service and the mission or the mission field? Can you think? <laughs> okay, think about who is the greatest missionary on this earth? Who would be? Jesus. Um, generally, we think that uh, if someone goes to um, a far uh, land, somewhere far, and uh, it's very difficult to live there, and that kind of missionary is quite amazing and uh, admired and uh, respectful, yeah, great. So, uh, if someone who was so, uh, you know, in a high position and uh, honorable and uh, left that position and to go to a filthy, dirty, dark, you know, very poor land and do the mission work there, yeah, would he be a very respectful and a great missionary, right? Then who would he be? Of someone, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I only can think of Jesus as the greatest missionary Amen. on this earth. You think so? Amen. I'm gonna take a look at Hebrew chapter 12, verse 2. I'll read Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despising the shame, they sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Right. He was sitting the, at the right hand of the throne of God, but he just gave up everything that throne. And despising the shame, he came to this earth. Right. And not just came to this earth, he was not, uh, he could have born, be born as a, 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 a son of king or something, or, you know, to be emperor. But he didn't. He was born in a manger and the son of a, a carpenter. And not just that, he lowered down himself and he even washed his disciples' feet, just like a, a servant. And finally, he was tortured and uh, hit, just like a prisoner, just like a criminal. And Finally, he died on the cross. Why did he do that? Because he loved us so much. Because he wanted to save us from our sin. And he wanted to give the life for us. To let us live. So now, we have faith in him. And we, you know, want to live like him. And we want to have the same heart as him. We want to resemble him so that we want to be disciples of Jesus. So that's why we are called Christians. And to remember his Humbleness, his sacrifice, and his um, lowering down himself. We celebrate this Holy Communion service. We celebrate the, the food washing. So, as we are the disciples of Jesus Christ, we 